Doors, Cambodia Free English School, and we're gonna come and hang out with the kids for an hour. We're super excited. Our purpose is to uh, to come here and uh, to open creativity for the potential that these kids in this area have, because they don't know uh, that they were born with talent or with creativity or with potentiality, so they don't know this. But we, uh, I come here in order to. Oh. to open the door. Yes. This tree is called the tree of life. As a human being, we have to have three foundations. You can say believe. So we have to believe in ourselves and others. And then after that, we have hope. So we believe we can do something. And then when we do something with hope, we can achieve something. And then uh, at the end of our life, so we just Charity behind. Uh, school hut I built myself. No oh, way. Um, also, this, this, this school hut I built myself with my two, uh, uh, the other two friends of mine as well. Yeah? I was born in uh, Kampong Tom province, which is 80 kilometers away from Siem Reap. I started to fulfill my dreams in uh, 2015, so wow. it's been four years uh, from then. My first time to build the school is in the town on my mom's land. Uh, so, but because of the environment was not really good. Mm -hmm. So after becoming a tourist guy, I could earn more money. Mm -hmm. And I, I saved up and then I, I, I bought the land the land here and then in 2017 mm -hmm. I my I'm still a tourist guy but yeah. the thing is uh, right now I could not go to work because uh, before I have a teacher I hire him but because he has got a new job and then yeah he's gone and then now I have to stay at my school because no one else yeah and then my friend who is a tuk-tuk driver as well uh, he come here and have him <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, right now we have uh, approximately around uh, 60. Yeah, this is just open. Just right over there, and then the other one over there, and they are Christian schools. So okay. uh, everything, you know, they provide kids. But yeah, I mean that's great that kids have more opportunities to learn. Right, 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 yeah, right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So. We, we still have, let's say, 16 right now. That's wow. great. Okay, this is our hostel. This is the downstairs little cute pool. 
restrooms down there, a restaurant. I'll show you in a minute because I've already came upstairs and I keep forgetting to do this. So here's some of the rooms. And get those. Um, so just come upstairs. There's another level, as you can see. So we're just right here. As a family of six, we always just get a full dorm room to ourselves. We're getting packed, so don't judge us. It's a mess. Oh, the AC feels good, though. So this is it. Narrow <laughs> little room. We've stayed here for two weeks together. we got to get all packed tonight. We're leaving early in the morning, so... Just got our laundry done. We're re-going through everything and sorting it between suitcases, mattress on the floor. Yeah, that's it. More fancy luxury from the Wallaces. Yep, it's been nice. I'll show you outside. So we have we share a bathroom. Um it's the bathroom. So there's two showers. And then two toilets in the last two. And the kids are getting their last swim in. The moon. The moon looks cool. So we are here for two weeks, leaving in the morning to Bangkok to actually another hostel. I think it's a hostel. It's a townhouse. It's a townhouse. Anyways, I'll show you downstairs. Okay, this is the downstairs. Say hi. <laughs> and kitchen, bar, pool, reception desk, and then that's the street out there. And we're right here in the city, really near Pub Street and the market and all of that walking distance. That's it. Okay, then there's the kitchen. It's listed as a kitchen, but it's not actually for our use, so probably should change that, but they're super nice here. We've had a great time. Hey, I'm totally, yes, in my swimsuit. I had to jump in. The water has been so hot. Um, just to finish up a few points about hostel staying, we've had a few families message us and ask about it, um, because it's a kind of a bad rap. And I haven't stayed any in the U.S., so I can't speak to that. But I would think that the same kind of ideas would apply. Um, yeah, it's been like 105 here, and I don't know how much humidity it's... Anyways, it's late at night, but... Ooh, hot. Um, hostels are very similar to hotels. They are hotels. But um, if you're traveling with a big family, then you don't really need to worry about the hostel aspect as far as sharing rooms with strangers because more than likely you're just going to rent the whole room. And um, we usually find that we can get a better deal than having to get two rooms or extra beds in a room if you are somewhere where there's even room for extra beds, which is really not usually in Asia or Europe. So... Um, unless you're like at a really big fancy hotel, then you're probably not even worried about hostels. <laughs> so the other thing I think people worry about is like partying and stuff getting stolen or whatever. Usually if you have your own room, then you guys are going to be the only ones in there. So you don't need to worry about that. And um, I think that it's the same risk you run staying at any hotel or apartment building where you're surrounded by other people. So yeah, there might be noise. Um... There might be partying, but that... Mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes, too. Um, but that also comes down to, <clears throat> to doing your research and reading reviews, which I would do for a hotel or a hostel the exact same way. So read through, um, click to most recent, like when you sort your reviews, and look at the most recent ones and get an idea of what people are saying. So if they're saying that there's lots of noise or fighting or drinking or anything like that, then, yeah, that would steer clear and not go to that one. If it has nice reviews, then totally go for it. It'll be great. And it's fun. It's like when you go to breakfast or something, like if your hotel offers breakfast and you go downstairs and if you're a chatter, like to meet people while you're traveling, um, hostels are usually a little more fun, I feel like, because it's usually full of travelers. Like it's not so much people that are just on vacation. If you're on vacation, you're going to be at a nicer hotel. 
And if you're in a hostel, and some hostels are super cute. They have really cute themes and stuff, especially like we found around Asia. Um, well, Europe too, actually. Both were really nice. So if you're traveling and want to meet other travelers, then hostels are amazing. Like you're going to meet tons. But there's hostels that are more like geared towards young backpackers and they'll have you'll see it in the reviews and they'll have, they'll offer lots of different tours and different things. And so that everybody can go as a group and get to know each other. And, um, yeah, lots of options, but it's worked great for us as a family. Um, we haven't had any problems so far The There is some noise here, but that's because we chose to stay like in Simreap, like really close to, like I said before, to the main walking, like tourist areas. And so there's a lot of bars here and, um, so, yeah, we've had some drunk karaoke nights. The kids have slept right through it. I was up editing, so I heard it, but I was still able to fall asleep. And worst case scenario, you get some earplugs. But that can happen anywhere. So, um, yeah, that's our thoughts on hostels. If you have any questions, then just send me a message. Okay. Mm, good night. I got to get up really early. Going back to Thailand. All right. Good night. The world's tiniest watermelon. I don't think this is the tiniest one there. No, honey. I want some. I want some. So, did you hear the one about the old Japanese man and the French couple with a new baby? They got a family of six kicked out of their hostel. Next time on the Wallace Reboot, we have all kinds of hostel surprises, from fun friends to roller coaster of drama. A lot of you are asking for updates. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I could not write this if I tried. Cut to an hour later, she messages him back. You can get rid of all the foreigners. This is like a soap opera.